after my parents died, I used to stay with my grandmother, whereby my grandmother used to mistreat me. After that, I had a, I had an uncle who, who used to call Momani. He took care of me, but he didn't took me as his child. So I grew up in Kibera with my uncle and aunt. The reason being my parents were dead. So I had to come from up country to Kibera to live with my uncle and aunt. Living with my aunt wasn't so easy because at times she would mistreat me. Then at times we would not eat because there was lack of money. Life wasn't so easy because my aunt and uncle couldn't get the school fees to school me until I was like, Nine years, I started school late. Then they took me to Rail Educational Center. That's where I got my sponsorship. That's where, where I knew First Love. When I came to First Love, things changed for me. I had a mother who loved me, fathers who loved me. Then I had sisters who cared about me. So my life changed when I came to First Love completely. There was a great change in my life when I came to First Love. Everything was there school fee, food, and I'm so happy about what God has done in my life. When I was at my family's place, I didn't used to know Jesus as my personal savior, of which I heard about Jesus, but I didn't took it seriously about Jesus. But when I came to First Love, things changed for me. I took my, my life to Jesus and I took Jesus as my personal savior. And I see, and I saw it's very important because God is everything and is always there for us. Nobody can leave us. It's so important. I got saved when I was in class seven. That's when we were living with Mom Karen. I got saved during our devotions. We usually have devotions at six. So Mom would encourage us to pray, pray. That's when I came to know God and love Him. Then I was baptized when I was in class 8 in April 28th. From the very beginning, as First Love, we made a commitment to all the children that are here, that we would be with them for their living from preschool all the way to high school. And even after high school, when they go to college, we still commit ourselves to helping them. And so uh, those who want to go to university, those who want to go to the polytechnics uh, or technical schools, we are there for them. For now, I'm no longer in high school. I went in a beauty school, which I had the passion of doing it. So I love beauty school because that is what I, I want to and I'm interested in doing it. I hope to join the university and study accounting because it's been my wish ever since I was young. I'd really love yeah, to study accounting. When we talk of a transition home, uh, we, you know, it's not throwing them out. It's not asking them to leave. It's just moving from uh, one location of uh, first love care to a different location where they will still enjoy all the privileges and the benefits of uh, uh, our guardianship to them. We'll pay for their tuition, we'll provide for their meals, we'll take care of their medical expenses, well, all of these things will be catered for by Fast Love. So by moving from the current property, it doesn't mean that we are throwing them out or we are washing our hands on them. They are still our children and we will make sure they have all they need and help them continue with their school to the highest level they can, they can go to. The new house will be called Daraja House, where in, Kiswahil, where in English it's called the Bridge House, where there will be a transmission from First Love Children's Home to the Daraja House, where you teach us to be self-contained, how to relate in life situation, how to pass the challenges in life, and how to be self-independent. The opportunities the kids have uh, when they move out, um, you know, they, they have a chance at least to think, hey, you know, I'm now on, I'm, I'm a few steps uh, just before the door. 
And, uh, and uh, what am I going to do uh, when, when I finally step out of the door? And that just gives them an opportunity to uh, think of how they can learn to be independent uh, once they step out of the, the transition home. On the current property, we are babysitting them. But once they go to the other place, they will learn to be independent. I'm looking forward to this home because it is going to teach me to live independently because like I'm bridging from mama taking care of me to just being independent, making my own money, living with self-control and knowing what I should do and what I should not do. Thank you for those who supported me in doing, doing beauty school. It's great doing something what you are interested of it. That's all I can do. I'm very grateful for what First Love has done in my life ever since I was in class four because I joined when I was in class four. I'm very grateful for the love, the care, There's the many things they've done in my life and as they continue supporting me when I'm going to the next level, I, I am really still grateful for everything. Mm -hmm.